Hi everybody, this is Jim Egan, head of school, set up school with a Friday update. I am gonna keep it consistent. I'm gonna get these Friday updates out there. Most of you know by now I am uh, not in California, not at Synapse. I'm in Gunnison, Colorado. It's beautiful outside. Um, I haven't seen much of the beautiful surroundings here uh, in Western Colorado um, because I'm here for my son and I'm, I'm uh, with him. Uh, quick update because so many of you have asked um, he is uh, out of the hospital. He's now in the long uh, sort of fluid process of recovery. Tremendous amount of progress has been made, which is great. Um, but as I've told some of you who have uh, reached out to me and I've been able to uh, reach back out to you, uh, it is a situation that is new for a parent. Many of you watching are parents of young kids. And um, when kids are young, you can put them in a car seat or you can say, get in the car, we're going home. Uh, in this situation, I have a 20 year old who is quite independent, uh, quite stoic and quite capable. Uh, uh, however, right now, um, the facts have changed and he's uh, in a situation that involves uh, a wheelchair and involves a walker. Uh, and uh, it's, um, it's a, a situation where I have to let go of my ego and uh, I'm learning about surrendering to the situation and trying to work collaboratively and deliberately toward a solution that's best for him and for the family. Uh, it's not easy. It's sometimes um, tense. Uh, so far, we've avoided uh, explosive <laughs> elements of that conversation or those conversations, uh, but it's, it's trying and it's a process. And so things are going well. I wanna thank uh, everyone for, for the support uh, I've received, certainly the Board of Trustees for their unwavering uh, commitment to me as a head of school. I can't tell you how much that means to me. Uh, I wanna thank the staff, the teachers, uh, everyone working at uh, Synapse for keeping um, the ship afloat at a time when the rocky waters start, start you know, kicking up because it's, uh, it's really at the apex of our calendar at the end of T2, we have this big event, which I'll get to in a moment, uh, that, that, that we head towards. So I know it's an intense time on campus, but it's going really well because of the staff. And then I wanna thank the parents and the, uh, the students for their support uh, at this time. Uh, it means a tremendous amount to me, uh, as well as my family. So I mentioned this big event coming up that is next Friday, it's our interactive lab. Look, it's a big deal. If you haven't seen it live in per person because you're a, a new family, uh, or a new parent, you've gotta come. You will see project-based learning on display in uh, full Technicolor. Our places and spaces are alive. Certainly our maker space, our garden, all of the buildings are really alive with learning and our kids are gearing up for this big event. It's a performance for them where they are on display. Um, it's really an authentic assessment is what we call it. And I can't wait for you to see it. If you are a returning parent uh, who has um, uh, seen our lab in person. I think it's going to be an emotional moment for you. Uh, I hope so. Uh, we really love uh, emotional moments at Synapse. And I know uh, I'm excited. I'll get back there. I'll be back this week, uh, barring uh, some some event that I, I, I can't predict. Uh, but that's on Friday. That's just, just something we're really, really excited about. Uh, take a deep breath Friday night. Come back out on Saturday for our Narball, which is our big uh, celebratory spring event, right? It's a party. Teachers and parents come together, celebrate a year. And this is a year we should celebrate, by the way. We've really, we've come a long way in two years uh, to this point. Uh, but it is also a fundraiser. We have three major revenue sources at Synapse, right? Tuition, obviously, our annual fund, and then our spring event. And the money we raise at the spring event, at the Narball this year, will go towards uh, tuition assistance. And that's a big uh, part of our program involving equity and inclusion and, and diversity. So we've been very successful in the past at raising the money that we set to raise. I have no reason to think we won't be this year as well. And there is a lot to celebrate. I remain optimistic. I am excited about this upcoming weekend and I look forward to be back, uh, to be back on campus really soon. Again, thanks everybody for your support. Uh, it means so much to me as a person and certainly as a head of school. And um, I will see you very soon. Have a great weekend.